Hi everyone, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and enable storefront filtering on your collection pages in our themes. So we're going to be taking a look at the Showtime theme today. We have a collection page open and storefront filtering is this filter that appears on the left side of our collection pages that allows us to narrow down large lists of products by different filters. So in this case, we have a filter to show products that are in stock only. We can narrow by price ranges. We can narrow by brand and we can narrow by color. And if we click one of these, then the products automatically update to show only products that come in that particular color. So with storefront filtering in online store 2.0 compatible themes, which all of our themes are, you can set up your own custom filters or you can use filters that are built into Shopify. So the first thing to do in order to enable this is to download the free Shopify search and discovery app. This is what manages all of your filters and you can download that for free from the App Store. I'll include a link in the description. So once you have that installed on your store, we're just going to go ahead and make sure that we have it enabled in our theme. So I'm going to briefly show you how to enable storefront filtering in all three of our themes. So in Showtime, I'm just going to customize and I'm going to go to a collection page. And over here under collection grid, I am going to enable the two options show active filters and enable filter color swatches. So the color swatches actually show visual representations of the color swatches. You can actually turn this off if you just want regular checkboxes for your colors. So, and then we can choose how to display the filters up here, whether we want it in a sidebar or in a drawer or turned off completely. In our pursuit theme, I'm going to customize the theme. And again, I'm going to go to a collection page. Under here, I'm going to click collection pages and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select storefront filtering for our filtering method and you can see that in action right here. And finally in our Galleria theme I'm going to customize, go to a collections page. Are you noticing a trend here? I'm going to choose products, enable filtering. There's a few other options for the display of the filters right here. And make sure that we're using storefront filtering. So now we're going to talk about how to set up your filters and determine which ones should show in the list. And we're going to do that on the Showtime theme. So I'm going to switch this back to sidebar so it's easier to see. And as you can see in this particular collection, we have availability, price, and brand. So I'm going to go into the search and discovery app by exiting out of here. And then I'm going to go to apps, search and discovery. So you can see there's a few different options here for filtering up here. I'm going to click customize filters right here. And you can also do this from this left hand menu. And you can see that the four filters we currently have enabled are availability, price, brand, and color. If you want, you can drag and drop these around in any position that you want. You can add filters. And by default, um, you can choose from all of these different options that are populated automatically, including product type, tags, and then you can add any option that your products have. So this is just showing a list of all the product options that your products come with. So if you wanted, if you had a lot of products that were, came in different colors, for example, then you might enable the color option. If you have products that come in a lot of different sizes, you could enable the size option, etc. You also have this option to add product meta fields so you can create your own custom filters. 
I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So right now we don't have any custom meta fields created. This product rating count is from the product reviews app, so it's not relevant in this case. So the first thing I need to do if I want to create a custom filter is I'm going to go to settings and then custom data. So in this case, I want to create a product meta field. So you can see we have some different meta fields here. Most of these are populated or created by apps, but it may be that you have some of these in here for other purposes. In this case, we're going to go ahead and add a definition. So I'm just going to create a filter called material. So I'm going to type material in for the name, and then I'll just click it again here. The description is just for our own use, so I'm just going to type the material of the product. And then for the type, I'm just going to choose single line text. All these other options we don't need to worry about, so I'm just going to click save. So now we have this material meta field. So now if we go to any of our product pages in the admin, you will see that there's this new materials meta field at the very top. So now we have to go in for each of our products and populate what this filter should be. So this happens to be a ceramic soup pot. So for the material, I'm going to put ceramic in here. And then I'm going to save. Now I'll go to another product, and this looks like a metal fruit basket, so for the material I'm just going to type metal and save, and we'll just do one more. So this utensil holder looks like it's maybe wood, so let's just say wood. So I'll put wood, save. So now I'm going to go back to my search and discovery app. So again, going to apps, search and discovery, customize filters, and I want to add this new custom meta field. So I'm going to click add filter, click this search filter sources, and down here under meta fields, I'm going to choose material. And I'm going to go ahead and click this box to select all the different option types. I'm going to save that. So now we've added the material meta field to our list of filters. So now I'm going to refresh this page and you'll notice that the material is not showing up here and that is because none of these products match that filter. So it's important to know that if your products in your specific collection don't have any of those filters that filter option is not going to show up in the list. So now that I've set up those meta fields, I'm just going to go to the soup pots collection because I know that one of the products I edited is in there. You can see our ceramic soup pot here. So now we have this custom filter showing here that I can click and narrow down to just products that have this custom meta field material and set to ceramic. So you'll also notice that the other two meta fields that I added do not show up here. And that's because there's no products in this particular collection that have those filters applied. So that's how you set up storefront filtering in our themes. I hope the video has been helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to our support team and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you so much for using our themes and have a great day.